Gabby Reed is here at the Jackson River Governor School Science Fair. She's from Mountain Grove, Virginia. Gabby, tell us about your interesting science project. So I did the effects of music on short-term memory. Um, my hypothesis was information is better retained when music is associated with it. So Any particular kind of music? No, not in particular really. Just, But I use jazz music for my experiment. Um, so I gathered a group of 15 people and I had two sets of index cards. Um, there were eight in each set and each had a different color on them. And I put them in different orders. So with the first set, I showed each of the 15 the cards in an order two times through and then I mixed it up on the desk and made them put it back in the order I showed them. And then with the second part, I showed them the other set of index cards twice through, but this time I had music playing in the background and then I made them put it back in the order that I showed them originally. The students, um, they did better on the test without the music than with the music, um, which was much to my surprise. Uh, seven of them actually decreased their scores, only five increased, and three of them stayed stagnant. Um, so my conclusion was, don't listen to music while you're studying, or at least not jazz music. Okay, so it's not necessarily the quality of the music, it's if you're listening at all. A lot of the suit, yes. So in all these years I thought maybe it would help me listen to Stairway to Heaven as opposed to the Brandenburg Concertos, and I wasn't right. <laughs> Um, a lot of the students said that the music was more of a distraction than an aid, so I would recommend not listening to it. Is it the distraction function, uh, the, where your brain's trying to do two things at once, or, or what do you what do you think is I the... I would say that it's trying to do two things at once, like listen to the music, but also trying to retain the information at the same time, which provides a distraction, whereas without the music, you can just in all this from the thriving metropolis of Mountain Grove. This is pretty impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're not done with Gabby Reed here. We just heard some interesting news. Gabby, you've applied to a couple of the Military Academy summer programs. Tell us about that. So I've applied to all of the Military Academy summer programs, West Point, the Naval Academy, the Air Force Academy, and the Coast Guard Academy. I've heard back from two of them so far, West Point and the Air Force, and I'm going to both of them this summer. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. Well, that really does sound cool. You also seem to be attracted to Annapolis, which is the Naval. Yes. So how do you, so will you go to both or will you go to one or what's the I'm going to both, yes. Um, from June 9th to June 14th, I'm going to West Point. And then the week after that, I'm going to Colorado to the Air Force Academy. So. Wow, that's really cool. And what does the programs, what goes on at the programs? So they're a preliminary application for the actual schools. They kind of run you through what life is like there. And they give you that first experience of what the academy is going to be like if you get accepted and if the school's right for you or if you're cut out for the school. So. And do you have a preference? Did you have something in mind for the for the future that involves one or the other of the academies? The academy I want to attend is the Naval Academy. I like the idea of being able to travel the world and serve my country at the same time. And it also provides a challenge for me. I get to challenge myself not only physically but mentally because the curriculum there is so rigorous. It's it's legendary, yes. we've heard. Uh, we, we have a relative who was caught rappelling uh, down one of the Naval Academy's buildings, and he's legendary. He's now a helicopter gunship pilot. So there are some characters at the Naval Academy. So it, it's a legendary program. You think it's pretty rigorous? Yes, sir. I have a few friends that go to the Naval Academy, and they've told me all of their 
struggles and how they've triumphed over them throughout the years. And it just sounds so amazing. It's something that I want to be a part of one day. It, is there any particular uh, major that you had in mind? Um, right now, considering chemistry but I'm not really sure I don't know it all depends on what job I go into I guess after and, and what made you come up with the idea of applying to the summer programs well I wanted to go to the school since sixth grade and so I researched and researched and my friends have also recommended applying for the programs over the summer because they give you a taste of what it's actually like to attend the schools. Well, we hear it's very rigorous and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. It's really competitive too. Um, the West Point one, there were 6,000 people that applied and only 1,000 got accepted. And I was fortunate enough to be one of those 1,000. Thanks very much. Thank you.